Hello and welcome back and it's time for another comparison. What are QNAT playing at with these model numbers? Today we want to talk about the TVS473, the TVS473E and the TS473. So there's going to be a lot of confusion in this video but let's try and get through it as best we can. Let's go. Okay, so the TVS-473 is the earliest one of these three. It came out at the very early stages of 2017 and it was considered one of their best NASs at that time. It culminated in um, uh, HDMI ports, multiple on the rear there, supporting 4K. It had that direct access port there on the front. It had the new remote control you can see up there at the top. It had USB Type A, USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports on the rear, and it had speakers inbuilt and PCIe slots you can upgrade to 10 GBE. It had the works, and it was available in 4 bay, 6 bay, and 8 bay. One year later, to January just gone, QNAP decided to release the E series from this. Now, the E series was the same unit as before, with the same internal hardware specs, the same CPU, and AMD RX graphic enabled TPU, I think it had an R6 built into it. Um, or an R7 even. On top of that, the device itself arrived with that quick access port on the front. But because so many people complained about the unaffordability of the device, and it did seem to be a little bit more expensive than its contemporaries at Synology and um, uh, what is it, Asus Store and more, they decided to strip a few features to bring that cost down by around 50 to 100 pounds depending on the unit you go for. So first and foremost, they got rid of that remote there at the top. Bing! gone next they got rid of the usb a port on the rear the usb 3.1 gen 2 a ports therefore faster backing up do check out my other video comparing those two but now that leads us to the very latest incantation the ts473 so first and foremost what's the difference well straight away the v's missing in the name isn't it well the V has always stood for Turbo Video Station in the, in the QNAP vernacular, TS being Turbo Station. And what they've done with this device is one, you can tell they've already changed the colour of the chassis. Secondly, they got rid of the remote control. Thirdly, it doesn't have those USB A ports there on the rear. And they've got rid of HDMI ports. So it has that uh, AMD CPU inside, that lovely quad core um, over three gigahertz CPU, and the RAM options to match that, it arrives in four and eight gig models, but without the HDMI ports there built into it. What it does is let you utilize graphics cards. So you can install graphics cards inside this QNAP on the available PCIe slot, uh, times three, PCIe times three, and then utilize that card within the NAS. So if it's an HDMI enabled card and it's in the, on the compatibility list, so do make sure you don't go for a card that requires additional power because this device does not have a big bulky three or 500 watt PSU. But what it does is remove the video portion of this NAS. So of these devices, this is the most cost effective of the three because not only does it not have the remote control and the USB-A, but they've already got, uh, they've got rid of the HDMI ports and giving you the ability to have it as network only. But if you want to do stuff with AI, do stuff with virtualization, do stuff with direct access via HDMI, it is still open to you by installing the graphics cards. Um, on top of that, all three of these devices support M2 SSD inside, and all three of them have got USB ports throughout. However, the newest one, the TS473 there, that one doesn't arrive with the USB quick access. So this is going to sit very well in the food chain of QNAT NAS. Now, why they've gone for this naming structure is beyond me. It's going to be very confusing to many people out there um, about this ridiculous structure they've got with TS and TVS and playing with the same numbers at the end. I kind of wish they went the same route as the likes of Synology and Asus Store, where they name their units. It would be a lot easier. But nevertheless, right now, if you are looking for network only access, I can't stress this enough. No remote control, no HDMI, all that, uh, you know, none of the quick access. The just cost effective throughout go for that TS473. If you want a, a little bit of direct access, you know, that USB there on the front and HDMI, but you're still trying to save a few pennies, go for the TVS473E. And finally, if you want a fully fledged NAS that has both network and direct access, you want the 473. No E, no other letters. So if you're interested in any of these NASs, then do visit me at nascompares.com. We've got the Bible links and the deals there for you to see. If you want to learn more, say subscribe and click like to this button. It's not my eye and it's driving me crazy. So do, don't forget to click like and subscribe to support this channel because I need you and you need me, so why not? If you'll learn more, visit me at Nas Compares. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next Compare.